Alrighty. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Vesperia. Uh, last time we got to the Manor of the Wicked, and now we're just gonna finish it. Okay, uh, I can see that the thing has come up on stream. Okay. Okay, uh. We'll beat up people on the way there. But other than that, it doesn't seem fair. These guys up. You'll be gone soon enough. Let's use this because I can learn other things and the TP bonus is helping. Let's just use that. I'll miss amount of TP items because the AI keeps you. Okay, also, uh, we're just gonna. No, it's not worth saving. We literally just came from there, so. Did Bernie got seen now? Dreamed you'd try anything this risky. I finally made up my mind that this mud ball would be a much prettier place without you on it. The other master guilds surely won't like you ignoring the union's laws for your personal vendetta. And I'll face the consequences. But it's daybreak now. Looks like I've underestimated you, Touch. I'm out of time. If I don't get myself back to Dongress, those fools gonna start a war with each other. Oh, I think it's a bit late to prevent that little accident. A couple of eggs might have to be broken, but I'm prepared to pay a price. A price? You still got us to deal with, Jaeger. Well, it looks like the tide's taken a turn. Yeah, indeed. Bye-bye. Hey, wait! Damn, that guy's a regular vanishing act. Now what's with all of you? Just how you figure coming down here be the smart thing to do? Hmm? Who's that little kid? I ain't no little kid. I'm Patty. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. Patty, huh? Why don't you come over here and sh Now this is a surprise. Huh? You're a dead ringer for Eifried. The very spitting image. Huh? 
Then it really is true that Patty is Ifrid's granddaughter? Granddaughter? You're his... Huh. I never heard nothing about that scoundrel having a granddaughter. Huh. So Patty's guess was right on the mark. As his relative, I bet you must have suffered quite a bit over Ifrid's infamous incident. I've got my own reasons for following Ifrid's trail. I thought that since you were his friend, Don, you might know something. <laughs> It'd be an exaggeration to say that we were ever friends. He just did whatever he wanted to do. I never knew where he was or what he was doing. And I ain't got a clue about that now, either. I see. Haven't you met him somewhere recently? Hmm. Have I? Can't rightly say. This is a keepsake left by an ally of yours. We were asked to bring it to you. <sighs> Looks like I caused you all some trouble. Of all the... Why'd she have to wind up like this? Just what is an apatheia, anyway? Well, you see... Afraid I don't have time to explain it now. Uh, I hate to cut and run, but... I'll... Wait! We should think about getting out of here, too. Hey, let me try and buy the old man some time. Raven? Come on. Guess we'd better. Prepare to meet your doom! Let's go fight these guys, because there's a- honestly, there's the things that don't be good at them. You know, I'd rather be too There we go, he's dead now. The Don would be crazy to do this alone. I think it's about time. I agree. You don't mean... Ah! <laughs> Just jumping out the window. That works. Leviathan's claw members aren't that smart. I got a bad smart. feeling about this. We should get back to Dongris. Spinning image. I'm the spinning image of Ifrid. Oh, cat. Not the picture I had in my head. Indeed. I thought he'd be an imposing figure like Don. I'm all muddled. I need to ask Don for more details. Okay. Well, we're just gonna leave now. Nope, I don't feel like fighting you. <sighs> Our formation's all over the place. This is awesome. I'll be good, it's just like not in it, um... Who's next? Take this! Holy power, come to me! The ones out here are a lot weaker. Come, oh silver light! Anyone with a spine to face us? Hooray! I did it! There we go. Let's just get the heck out of Dodge. Back to Dongress. I really don't feel like fighting these guys. There's no reason. They're literally too low level to be worth fighting. It 
looks terrible. The Union and Paul Astrali are squaring off against each other with Hope Lone Blastia. The Dawn is back, but something's not right. So, he made it back in time. Looks like my hunch was right, though. What do you mean, your hunch? <laughs> He's been planning for this to end in his death all along. What? Why would he want to do something like that? To... set things right? Bellius died because of Harry's rash behavior. She's the Duce of Nordopolica. You can't just say, sorry, I got some bad information. Which means there's gotta be compensation to make up for losing Bellius. So the price Don mentioned back at the Manor of the Wicked was... His own life. Once he made oh up dear. his mind to sacrifice himself, taking down Jaeger wasn't a problem. Even if it meant going against the laws. No! He can't do that! There has to be some other way... Both sides are at the breaking point, though. This thing could go off at the drop of a hat. And if it starts, it'll mean all-out war between the Union and Paul Astrale. Not sure we have the time to find some other way. <sighs> I'm going with Carol. Alright, and now we instantly go into the inn and save. And I also actually want to check this for a second. Synthesis. Wrong thing. What do I need for these that I'm missing? Small bird feathers. I genuinely might just look up what drops that and then do that before we go on to our next little uh, actual story beat. I'll well make these. Oh, interesting. So you can either make pineapple gels directly or you can use the previous one to make them. Interesting. What does it mean to... Yeah, it'd be better just to buy the gels. I don't care, Melange. No, I don't need those, but let's buy some pineapple gel. No, pineapple gels are way too expensive. Buy those. I think we need to worry about these stuff. Hang on. Synthesis. Check armor stuff. Eh. Phoenix Guard is on him, and Gothic is on her. I think she has the best one I can give her. No, not quite, but... No. No. Oh. Oh, that's better for the dog. I am gonna buy that. I, I'm doing just looking this through this stuff to see. Already equipped. I already know I've made this one. Sorry, I was just finagling with that. I just wanted to get some equipment changes there. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Also, I just realized something. I want to check something. Monster book. Oh. 
Oh, here we go. These guys drop small bird feathers. Or those guys. Hmm. Might have to do some figuring out. Hang in there, kid. You're a boss now, right? <laughs> but it's like there's nothing I can do on my own. So then ask for help. That's what friends are for, right? Don! Take good care of them. They'll be there whenever you need them. <sighs> I'm coming with you. Like hell you are! Raver <laughs> just punches him in the face. <laughs> well, old man, it's been fun. Raven, you better nail Jaeger for me. <laughs> That's a heavy load for somebody like me. <laughs> You're the only one I can ask. White Horse. <laughs> Little lady, try going underground through the storeroom in the city's tavern. Mm. There's a wall there inscribed with Eifried's name. If you're his granddaughter, it ain't a bad idea to take a glimpse at the kind of things he did, and how he lived. <sighs> We're so grateful for everything your darling grandson's done to us. Really. The boy has made a mess of things. He may be my idiot grandson, but he's also a full member of the Union. And it falls upon any leader to take responsibility for the mistakes of their people. So say the laws. Take me, then. Let my head atone for Bellius. Don. Idiot. These guilds. They're all filled with nutcases. <laughs> so, who's gonna be my second? It would be my honor. Oh, he's committing seppuku. Guess you're stuck doing a job nobody much wants. You too. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Yuri, I was looking forward to watching you go places. <laughs> I'll make sure to save you a spot in hell. <laughs> I don't think they led me into the hell you're going to. I won't forget that attitude, boy. And I won't forget your resolve, Don Whitehorse. Don! Listen up. You all gotta stand on your own two feet from here on. There's a new age coming, so get out there and make it for yourselves. <laughs> Everyone here seems to have calmed down. Feels more like they're expecting the end of the world. Carol's been taking the Dawn's passing pretty hard, too. And it looks like things are keeping the old man busy. I guess it comes with being a member of Altosk. Huh. I haven't seen Patty for a while now. She might be in the sewer tunnels. Oh, right. That's what the Don was talking about. He gave up his own life to make amends for what happened. The guilds take their laws pretty seriously. <laughs> the pride of living by the laws of the guild? Taking responsibility. Accepting the choices he'd made. The Don practiced what he preached. And he was willing to stake his life on those beliefs. Responsibility. Choices. 
I've got to get these things figured out myself. Best to start with our guild. Yuri? Where are you? Just going for a walk. He probably went looking for Carol. Carol. Parted with everyone. Dawn's now bathroom. my hands have killed someone I never wanted to kill. Dawn, that feeling still hasn't left my hands. You really were a piece of work, old man. I decided to serve the Dawn for the rest of my life. This had to go and happen. Only a week may make you. We're a little stronger. The union for the Dawn gone. I'm dead. Well, considering he was like 80, you probably should have. Is Carol over here? No. Uh, I might as well just save. This isn't me, like, making a joke. I genuinely don't know where the hell he is. No. It's half step. Half step. Half, 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 half step. Half step. There he is. Quick, let's awkwardly move over to him. Yuri, I... There wasn't anything I could do. The Dawn, and all the rest of you, you'd all made up your minds and did what you could. Nobody in this town's gonna listen to anything I've got to say. So I was thinking I should try talk, but they might be done talking and just attack anyway. I was too scared to go alone. So I am, I'm not good for anything. What about Judy? <laughs> Weren't you gonna look for her? I can't. I'm just not cut out to be the boss of a guild. Is that it then? Is that all guild just walking away from the dream like that? But I wanted to be the best guild! To be useful to the Dawn! For him to notice me! He's been a role model for me. And now he's not around. <laughs> so you're just gonna pack it up and quit? Just what was it that Dawn died for? <laughs> you of all people should know the answer to that. You can always do everything you want, Yuri. You'd never understand how I feel. I'm not tough like you. There's no way I can be like you and the Dawn. It's over. Our Carol! Don't you remember all the Dawn told you? Did you forget his resolve? <sighs> As a member of our guild, I'm going to Mount Timza to find Judy. Huh? Ray Vesperia will go on. Even if you don't, this guild is more than just you now. <laughs> I don't want to run away. I don't want to, but... Carol earned the Troubled One title. I'm assuming I just go back to... I wish there was more clear indication of where you're supposed to go at times. Are they still in here? Uh, 
No. Okay. I know that the, he mentioned like the underground thing. Uh, are they in the? Are they down here? Oh, they're there. Carol, do you think he'll be all right? He'll be fine. <laughs> but well, now if it isn't the darling boy and girl, how very nice to see you both. Jaeger! You've got some nerve showing your face after planting the seeds of war. Seeds of war? I'm quite sure I don't know what you're talking about. Attacking Palestrale is a matter for the Union to decide. Yep, that's right. We just helped inform their decision. <laughs> exactly. Understand, my little friends? I'll give you something to smile about. That's enough for today, I think. It is the day of the dawn's passing, after all. We're still in mourning, you see. Bullshit. The world lost a great man today. It most certainly did. What is it you guys are after? Get the Dawn out of the way to take control of the Union? Oh, no, 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 no. Our little business will most surely be easier without support Dawn around, but... Ah, uh, let's not go there. I've come today for my own personal reasons. I don't want to disgrace the Dawn by doing something I'll regret later. You should leave before I change my mind. It is not only you who are mourning this death, you know. Be seeing you then. <laughs> Even Jaeger is mourning the dawn. I don't understand. Hadn't he been trying to get rid of Don Whitehorse himself? The old man was a nuisance to Leviathan's claw, but maybe things were a little different for Jaeger on a personal level. You mean like the difference between guilds and individuals? Yeah. <laughs> to the Dawn, there was Jaeger the boss, and Jaeger the person. The Dawn did break his own laws and take the fight into his own hands. Well, we should be on our way. Uh, all right. I told Rita we would be meeting her at the town exit. I also left a message at the inn for Patty. I said he'll be fine. Let's go. Where's Rita? Uh, Where are Carol and Patty? What is the deal with everyone worrying so much? What are both of your plans after this? I'm going with you, of course. Like I said, I've decided to stick with you guys while I research the air credit. Right, right. I want to go with you as now that we know the hunting blades are out, we're not obligated to do anything for her. <laughs> really, Judith shared it really on F her. She's one of us. She also destroyed the Ceres Blastia on the ship. But... I'm not going out on any mercy mission. I told you I need to set things straight, right? Yuri... What does Judy know? What doesn't she know? I'm gonna see that she comes clean about all of it. I have to. To find out where this guild stands. Well, we might just end up saving her along the way. <laughs> you two are worried about her. I knew it! <laughs> what are you talking about? We might, is all I said. <laughs> anyway, with all this talk about setting the guild straight, is the fearless leader... It'll take more than this to keep him down. He'll come. Oh, Patty's here. <laughs> Did you have a look at what your grandpa left behind? I... I engraved it all firmly in my memory. Well, but you don't have that much there. So did it help you remember anything? Mm, it doesn't look like things are gonna go quite so well. 
But I can't let myself get discouraged by something like that. Yeah, that's right. Is it okay for me to be with you guys a little longer? I don't mind. Okay, let's go. What should we do about Raven? He couldn't come now. He can't turn his back on this town. They lost the Dawn. You're probably right. The old man has his own agenda to take care of. I'm gonna miss him. Eh, think who you're talking about. That guy might just pop up when you least expect it. I think you're talking about. So where is this Mount Temza anyway? My guess is that it's somewhere north of the sands of Kogor. She mentioned something about living with Baul on a mountain to the north of a desert. There certainly are plenty of mountains in the northern regions of Desier. Well, let's start there and see where it takes us. We'll be going to Desier by ship. Looks like that's where I come in. <laughs> All right, let's head to the ship. Reunited with everyone, except Carol. <laughs> Everyone was just waiting. I love it. Carol. I love like that everyone was just standing there waiting. Wait! I'm I might not fully understand, but Brave Vesperia is my no our guild. So <laughs> so I've gotta come with you guys. Carol. I think if I ran away, if I abandoned my friends, that'd be the end. I couldn't come back. That's why. That's why I've got to go. Please let me come too. Of course. <laughs> You're the boss of this outfit, Captain. Yuri, thanks. <laughs> but don't call me boss anymore. Hmm? I, I haven't done anything to earn that title yet. <laughs> Until you really think I'm a boss. Until I don't feel embarrassed when someone... I'll just do my part as a fellow member of Brave Vesperia. Understood, Carol. <laughs> Not a bad plan. All right. It never ends with these guilds. Bunch of hot-headed idiots. Says you, Rita. That's exactly what's so good about the guilds. I think. Hmm. Yeah. Quite juvenile, isn't it? Ah. Hey, old man. Just fucking teleports in. <laughs> ah, how glorious is youth? <laughs> he just fucking ninjas what in. What are you up to? Huh? Something. Well, don't you have your hands full with the Dawn's passing and everything? You know, it all just seemed a little too bothersome, so I ducked out. <laughs> but you owe a lot to the Dawn. Aren't you sad? Sad? I cried and cried till my I call BS. Was and there wasn't a Funny. It doesn't show on you at all. Huh. <laughs> so not even Raven the Great can bear to ignore the Dawn's parting words. <laughs> What are you talking about? You heard me, didn't you? That burden's too heavy for this beast. I'm sure they'll be able to take care of that piece of business just fine without me. All right, we'll leave it at that. Oh, man, these kids today, I tell you. Shut up, Raven. in a group is loads of fun. It's so lively. Everyone's just giving him a this look. Isn't lively, it's rowdy. Didn't I tell you that before? So now we can depart for Desier, right? Huh? What? That's a pretty good hunch you have there. Mount Thames is north of the Sands of Kagor. There's a Critian city there, if memory serves. And why would you know something like that? Well, I'm over twice your age, so of course I know twice as many things. Right. <laughs> so are we going, or aren't we? Can we get to the north of Kagor by boat? Guess we'll have to see when we get there. Hoist the sails! The Fiertia is off to sea! <laughs> You know, with Carol and Raven. Out of curiosity, how underleveled is Carol now? Eh, not horrible. Bowing. Our swords for freedom, our shield for friendship, our lives for the common good. You and you know, huh? Do you suppose Eifried lived according to those words? Or did the wind blow differently? Well, the fact that Eifried's signature is on the oath is no simple twist of fortune. I. Well, we'll just have to take up the oath for Dawn and Eifried then, won't we? 
Well, Don, it looks like the youth have picked up the torch you and I free once carried. Okay. Well, let's get out of Dodge. Also, uh, just because this is going to bother me if I don't. Fill in the map. Game. Fill it in. Fill it in. There we go. Yes, that was entirely why I did that, was I wanted to fill in the map. Uh... Can we get to the other side of the thing that oh. Raven's idea. Don Whitehorse was a real man, wasn't he? Aye. I'm sure you felt the weight of that in your blade as his second. I'm sorry I made you shoulder that blade. It's alright. Unbelievable. Why would he accept that role? Do you think Yuri is really alright? He's not all right, but I imagine he'll be able to sort it out in his own mind. That lad's got real resolve. Resolve? Do you mean like with Rago and Q more? Aye. Once he's made up his mind and taken up a task, <laughs> he'll see it done no matter how heavy it is. It's an exhausting path, one this old man could never take. Hmm. You aren't alone in that. All folks like us can do is keep an eye on the lad as he does what he needs to. So basically, if he decides someone's going to die, they're going to die. Well, let's see what level these kids are. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Oh, right. Uh items. Level 31, okay. pages. Cool. Alright, let's head north. Fight these guys, I guess. Get ready. I'm taking you down. I kind of, at this point, want to just fill out all of the, like, uh, pages. I'm not even gonna lie, that's like half my interest right now. Also, let's take my earbuds out a little bit, because I'm just gonna talk to the main card. And here we are. Welcome to Mount Temza. These are human footprints, right? There sure are a lot of them. Could it be the hunting blades? That, or it might be the knights. But why would the knights be here? Well, Flynn was looking for Apathea too. If that's what the hunting blades are doing here, then the knights could be here for the same reason. Why is everyone scrambling to get their hands on Apathea all of a sudden? 
It was so pretty, all sparkly and glittery. I'm sure it's incredibly valuable. We never had the chance to get an explanation from the Dawn. If Judy will clue us in on what she knows, things might clear up. Judy, I wonder if she'll tell us. I don't know. It's up to her whether she'll talk or not. Of course, if she decides not to. Yuri! Hey! You guys, come look at this! This is crazy! <laughs> Mount Temza. The giant crater village now. Okay. What the heck is this? The mountain's been... flattened. What could have happened? Is there really supposed to be a town here? Well, it was here ten years ago. That I'm sure of. But I can't vouch for what's happened since then. Ten years? That's quite a ways back. What were you doing way out here? Uh, well... Oh, that voice! Is that you, freak? Here's hoping everything's alright. Let's hurry. Open her chest and... Cutscene? It's even worse from up close. I've never seen a hole this big before. <sighs> There's no way this could have happened naturally. It looks like something exploded here. An explosion? Are there monsters that can do something like this? They were, but those monsters were all wiped out. What do you mean, wiped out? What you see here, this was a battleground in the Great War. What? Really? So that means humans and Entelakea fought here. The humans were victorious, but there were scarcely any survivors. The facts behind the war are shrouded in darkness. Not even the official government histories give many details about what happened. Mm. So the Entelikea did this to the mountains. Terrible power. The Great War. Ten years ago. That must have been when you were a baby, Patty. Hm. I... But this is the first time I've heard that a battle took place here. The Empire's kept a pretty tight hold on information about it. They've got a lot of secrets. You should know that by now. <laughs> I thought it was strange that monsters would wage war against humans, but... What they didn't want us to know was that those monsters were actually into Achaia. You sure know a lot about this stuff, Raven. You come across a lot if you live long enough, kitties. <laughs> okay, enough history lessons. We came here so we could look for Judy. The monster's voice we heard just now. What if they've already got Judith cornered? Judy's really strong. There's no way she'll go down easily. Of course not. Besides, I've got to give that dragon freak a beat down. I can't let a monster beat me to the punch. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hurry. Besides, I want to punch her. I saw these treasure chests in the in the cutscene. There's no way I'm not gonna grab them. Um, I might as well check this. Man. Great War? I mean, leaving a gaping hole where a mountain used to be. I still can't believe how much power the Antilochea must have had. How could the humans fight beings that powerful and not get demolished? I just don't get it. Indeed. The Great War may still hold secrets we haven't uncovered yet. And I'll bet those secrets are hidden somewhere in this mountain. Yeah, but the war's over now. It can't have anything to do with us, right? I hope so, but... The moment just stay still for a moment. Red, really? You unfreeze it that exactly.
There we go. Oh, we can change other equipment then. Cool. No, no, no. Each A plus one is done. Uh. Shark Tail, I guess. Oh, Iron Hammer. That's done. Uh. Spike Hammer. Might as well. Okay, uh, uh, uh. those are already done. They're done, so he didn't have anything that I can give him. So, can't upgrade Raven's kit at all right now. Eh. We'll destroy them in no time. And another. Wait, hang on. I want to try something. Arts. Azure Storm. Azure Storm is not something I can just use. Okay, so that actually means I think I can go into skills. And I think I can turn off this one. Let me see. Yeah, that's how it works. So if you use the arts enough times, you can just turn off the skill and you can keep the art. Okay, that actually is very helpful. Okay, so let's, uh... Actually, let's give you a new skill in place of that combo plus. I kind of want that, actually, the Fatal Strike bit. <sighs> okay, actually, um... I'm just gonna look this up because I kind of want to know. Uh, Vorpal Sword Arts Change. I want to know what art the Vorpal Sword changes. Um, okay, here we go. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to. This is bothering me. Arcane Arts. Altered Arts. Chain. What is this one? Dispersion and Great Deluge.
they are for arts I do not yet have. Like, I'm, I'm reading it, and those are for arts I don't actually possess yet. Uh, so... Guess that'll be for later. Wait, reading. Hang on. Did I never put that in? I did not put that one in, apparently. Uh, Raging Blast. It's not anywhere there. Guess that's something I'll try out. LB right stick. LB left and the right stick. Uh, can I run up there somehow? I want the treasure chest. Give me the treasure chest, please. Ah. Well, I can get this one. Hey! Oh! I guess I just got it. Not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna use this one quite a bit on purpose. Um, I didn't use that one quite a bit on purpose, so I could potentially learn it and not have to worry about using the skill. So. Deadly Horn! X. Can't get up there. And I can't get over there either, so. I can't stun him up anyway. Cool. You'll be gone soon enough. Oh my god, that thing hits like a truck, I did not realize. Oh, and it's AoE. Okay, that's actually going to be a very useful, uh, a very useful part. That's over. There we go. Lots of items. I'm just trying to stun them. Let's eliminate them. There we go. Yeah, sorry, no. We're gonna go punch. For some reason that wasn't like actually going on. No. It's an ion now, so don't want to use enough the SP item. No, stop! You need the SP item. Holy power, come to me! No way! Good job, Spot! Finish that one! Okay, can I change their equipment then? Also. Equip the pudding. I'm almost done with learning those things. Oh, she's completely done with that. Uh... Switch out for that, because it's better. Oh, got it off of that. Okay. Mm, yeah, no. Yay. 
We are going to get away to break blocks. It's like, break like rocks or something. There's so much stuff that's just. Oh. I'm just getting started. I will use this. There we go. Am I gonna get a new upgrade for my my magic shooting ring? Wizard Horn Plus, um, or uh, actually, uh, the loss on that is too great. Like just period. This, on the other hand, would actually be worth it. Yeah, let's use that ruby wand. I have a feeling we're going to get another upgrade to the, the magic ring shot. Which will allow us to actually, like, break some stuff. We'll destroy them in no time! Okay, I learned the arts altering skills, but I think actually at the moment this is still his best weapon. Yeah, that's still his best sword at the moment. So I'll probably leave it. Doesn't help that I know for a fact we're missing one of the skills. Yuri, what's the matter? I was just thinking about what Judy said. Baal saved me during the war. I just realized that maybe she was talking about the Great War when she said that. So maybe she fought against the Empire with that dragon freak during the Great War? It'd be kind of sad if Ju- Maybe Raven can tell us. You fought in the Great War, didn't you, old man? Huh? Why? <laughs> I think only someone who was on the scene would know so much about the war. Really? But there weren't supposed to be very many survivors, right? Very true. I thought I was gonna die back then, too. Uh, if only I'd died then, things would have been so much easier, too. <laughs> if only you died? What a weird thing to say. So, did you ever see Judith during the war? No, not a chance. I may be a player, but ten-year-old girls are definitely off-limits for me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Then it sounds like Judy didn't participate in the war. Right. I mean, if it was ten years ago, she'd be nine. That's even younger than me. Hmm. I feel like I never saw Baul either. Maybe they ran away from the battle? So it was really the Antelakea who fought in the battle? Yes, I guess so. Though at the time, we thought they were only a really terrible breed of monsters. But wow! You were really in the war, huh, Raven? <laughs> That's so cool! I thought only Imperial Knights fought in the war. Maybe I'll tell you more about it when you're older. Okay, that is like, we have to fight that. There's literally no way around it. Hold still. I'll make this quick. I should check something. My arts... Please. Thank you. 
that don't work. Right, I'm not actually using the one that's equipped, I'm using it differently. They know each other Reflect. Uh, dog? No, not done yet. It's just not worth it. The fights are just not worth it right now. Crimson Phoenix plus one. Have the Crimson Phoenix. Wait, is that the one that's missing? Yes, actually, so I can just straight up replace this and still work on the thing that I'm missing. <laughs> eh, well, that works too. recovery and admittedly I'm trying to learn anything I can off of it. Oh whoops. We'll destroy them in no time. I was just running over there because I thought there might be a safe point. Take this! Game let me hit game, game let me hit the mage. Resound to cry of victory. All right. Okay. Ooh, a treat and a specific. Okay. Um, ooh, curiosity. Is it a weapon? Triple card. here <laughs> what do you think judith would come here for suppose it wouldn't make much sense to say she was feeling homesick <laughs> those two just get punted <laughs> lays a hand on one of our own. If she's broken our laws, we'll set Now get out of here. We're only trying to follow a month. This doesn't involve you. Okay, this is getting us nowhere. Let me at him! You're right. It's just a waste of time trying to talk <laughs> I have Anyone gone. who interrupts our conversation is gonna be taking a long nap. <laughs> I have gone. <laughs> Leave. Now. Or do you really want to do this? <laughs> no, pack <pepper> this shit! <laughs> Judith, you followed me here. Yeah, we're here to settle things. Judith! Why you destroyed the Blastia, all of it. And even though you're one of us... 
punish the unjust, was it? Honestly, I don't know if that's really a good thing or not. You've already come this far. I suppose there's no going back now. <laughs> come. I'm going to assume... Yuri, what... If there's one thing the Dawn's last moments taught me, it's that I've been too soft. If a part is infected, you cut it off before it infects the whole. Even if it's a comrade? You mean even if it's Flynn or Farrell? Yeah. It's the path I've chosen for myself. <laughs> I... Let's save. Oh yeah, it's been a little bit. There we go. The hunting blades again. The hunting blades again? We didn't just cross paths this time. We're after the same thing. We just might have to fight. If it does come to that, you guys don't have to worry about me. But we can't keep Judith waiting. Let's go! <laughs> Carol... Our boy's growing up. Yeah. Isn't there some way we can avoid fighting the hunting blades? I hope so. But it's pretty much up to them. Yep. Okay, and I'm just gonna say one more time just so that the game registers that I've seen that. Oh, is that better than... Immunity and Fatal Exceed, eh. No, not really necessary right at the moment. But I did get a save point, so... I have no interest in fighting. No interest in fighting. I'm just gonna leave. Uh, I still have to finish the life up uh, upgrade, but what was that guy I saw? No. Ares! Olympic Gale and Evade 2. Okay, so once I get the life up, I'll switch out for that other one. is actually, now that I think about it, let me check my skills. So there's this. Main problem though is, um, that's my mystic art. So, I'm not gonna get that upgraded anytime soon. Great Deluge. I think it's Dispersion is the one that I actually have this tied to, so I might just switch those out so I can keep that and still gain the other alterations. Okay, so it's up that way. Um, let's see what's over here, just to see. The Critian Town. I heard stories of a Critian Town, but I never knew where it was. Me too. Didn't expect it to be on Mount Temza. They must really value their privacy to build a whole town on a mountain. Is there something they don't like doing in front of other folk? Critians are a secretive lot, to be sure. Really? This one's strong. Don't just stand there whining. Uh, no, that was not what I wanted. Ding. Fifty-eight. Okay. This little fifty-eight. It has like no defenses or anything. Oh, right. They know each 
each other way too well. Ooh, 20,000 gold. Okay, that's really good. And limit bottle. You'll be gone soon enough. Can you tell I'm trying to grind those shredding palms so I can just have it without those scale up? Please don't tell me I'm out of TP. I, don't... I wasn't paying enough attention! I wasn't paying enough attention and they consumed all the TP items! Game! Game! Uh, okay, well. Let's go into the healing save and then hope to God that we have enough TP for whatever boss fight is going up. Likely against Nan and that other guy based on who they were going to go talk to. See, the life up, though, is too useful because it occasionally increases max HP after a fight. Uh, yeah, that's just good. So, you are aware that this place was the ground on which the Great War was fought? Yeah, we heard from the old man here. The Great War was sparked by a type of Blastia. What? This was not a Blastia that had been excavated. It had been constructed in the city of Temza using a new type of technology, the Hermes Blastia. Hermes Blastia? I've never heard of it. And if you say it was newly built... I didn't think you could make a new Blastia. The Hermes models were even more effective at converting air into energy. They were intended to... revolutionize the technology of Blastia. But something went wrong. The Blastia using these Hermes-type formulas required massive quantities of air. The air crena began producing abnormal amounts of air in order to compensate. That would mean the end, not just of humanity, but all life on this planet! Just like we saw at Cave Mock and the Weasen of Kados. Wouldn't like to see that happen everywhere. The Intelakea realized the dangers of the Hermes Blastia before the humans, and they moved to destroy them. Which created a conflict that grew until it eventually became the Great War. So then the Angelicaea fought against the humans to help the planet? But why didn't they tell the humans how dangerous those Blastia were? Neither side probably cared much if the other brought itself to ruin. There's never been any love lost between humans and Angelicaea. Probably didn't talk much. Or maybe there was another reason. But what does any of this have to do with you, Judy? Temza fell to the flames of war, and the technology of the Hermes Blastia was believed lost. Wait, you mean there are still Hermes models in operation? Yes, at Rago's mansion, Emmet Hill, Gosforost, not to mention. The Ceres Blastia on the Fiertia. That new Ceres Blastia must have been a Hermes Blastia. So then you've been destroying the Blastia in place of the Entelechaea. You could have mentioned that. Why didn't you say something? Were you gonna save the world all on your own? Are you stupid? <laughs> Error does not compute. <laughs> I had to worry for a second, like, wait, did something crap. like we found you will not pass you're a person aren't you how can you defend a monster didn't you get the news i said nobody lays a hand on one of our own we won't allow that not even from we were having a conversation over here but out 
I can't believe these guys. Such scallywags. I don't usually like to get my clothes dirty, but... Everyone. Have the Hunting Blades added people to their list of targets? Nobody who associates with monsters can rightly call themselves a person. Carol, have you forgotten the credo of the Hunting Blades? Step aside. Monsters are evil, but the Angelicaea aren't evil. They were... Don't let them fool you with that credo nonsense. They're on a job. They're here for the Apatheia. Huh. It seems you won't listen to reason. If you have no intention of moving, you leave us no choice. Uh. Should I repeat for Judith? Uh, check out Judith's equipment. Oh, that works too. Okay. Uh, I should equip her with more skills here. Better option would be can't. Okay, wait. No, so fatal exceed, and that's about all I can do here. Check your own equipment. There we go. Stupid to think anything out of the ordinary is automatically evil. Aiding monsters is punishable by death! You're worse than monsters. They just got instinct. You got brain. I'm fine. All right. Oh, okay. now you've. Uh, did I do a thing? I'm trying to actually, you know. Yeah, let's take her out because I... There, no one just needs me to this guy. Let's 
does actually genuinely have the trouble with practicing the two of them. Oh, he had 99,000 health. Wait, <laughs> that's the last hit he needed. Were you going easy on them? I'll find anybody who lays a hand on my people. A special flag, resist ring and protect. Yeah, I, feel I did it! That's the lock. There we go. Nan, I'm sorry. Uh, hearts. Use. There we go. Okay. And now, the meeting of monsters. We sure have fought a lot of monsters. Yes, I thought by now they might be more scarce, but... <laughs> that sounds like something you'd think, Estelle. If we could wipe out all the monsters ourselves, we wouldn't need anything like barriers anymore. But why are there monsters anyway? So that people can defeat them, of course. I think that's a little extreme. Well, that's the only thing they're good for. I wonder... It seems there would be some good reason why they exist. There's no use thinking too hard about it. Get started on that train of thought, and you'll soon be asking yourself why humans exist. Yes, that's a good question. Oh my god, too. no. Don't send us down the rabbit hole. Making things more complicated. <laughs> Everyone's like, man. oh god. I was trying to get you to stop thinking about these things, not think about them more. Okay, we're gonna go save again. So we don't need to worry about the boss right again. Uh, skills. Great Deluge and Dispersion. Leave that uh, for right now. We got the equipment, roll sword. Uh, where is it? Aries. I'm going to skills. I can take off Hellfire because I'm not really going to use it. Dispersion. So that I can hopefully learn that one. It's Baul! What's happening? Baul is trying to evolve as an Intelakea. It looks like he's suffering. Baul, come on. You can do it. No. I want to heal your wounds, but there's nothing I can do. My power is poison to you, isn't it? Healing wounds isn't your power, Estelle. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't you remember Bellius's words? Power corrupts. But you... You are different. Never lose that kindness. The compassion you so readily show to others. My compassion for... Your thoughts are reaching Baul. All we can do now is hope for the best. <laughs> That your Baul has evolved. <laughs> well now. Amazing. I knew you could do it. Your partner seems like he's gonna be just fine. Yes. Thank you all for helping to protect him. This is something I couldn't have done alone. <laughs> You're one of us. Of course we'd help. That's right.
Didn't I tell you? You got through to him. <laughs> you make it through to Pharaoh as well. Will you be going to meet him? That's up to Estelle to decide. I'll go. It's been the purpose of my journey, after all. <laughs> Are you sure? What if you end up getting killed? Even still, I've got to stand firm on this. It won't be too long before the hunting blades send reinforcements. How about a change in scenery before they show up and spoil the party? There's only one path down from here, though. We're bound to run into them. The skies are wide open above us. Have you lost your mind? Get on. We'll fly as far as the Fertia. We can finish talking once we arrive. Okay, so I'm reading the... As this is happening, I'm reading, like, the wiki page for the altered arts. A hundred times I need to use that art in order to get it. And now we're just flying on the fi the fiat, yeah. Judy. I don't think she was sleeping She's much. She's sleeping. She must be exhausted. Yeah, I mean she just killed over. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I bet she watched over Baul the entire time he was evolving. She probably didn't get much sleep. She probably had no idea when the hunting blades would attack either. She was putting up a brave front, but she must have been near the end of her rope. She's just dumb. She doesn't know how to express what she's feeling, says the Sundere. And I'm really glad we're able to help Judy out. We can finish talking with her tomorrow. We should let her sleep now. <laughs> In fact, I wouldn't mind a little shut eye myself. What did we do? To we still haven't heard Judy's side, so we can't say anything, but she sure caused the guild a major headache, breaking Blastia's all on her own. There's no getting around that fact, no matter what her reasons. We have to settle this. Man, I hate waiting. Everybody. Oh, Yuri. So I'm feeling the rest of the gameplay today is going to be cutscenes. Ever since I took Bellius's life without meaning to, I've wanted to know what it means to be the child of the full moon, so the same thing doesn't happen again. I've always thought that it was my duty to know. <laughs> but after what happened to Bellius. That's how everyone is. They do something, huh? they learn. They do something else, they learn more. You too, Yuri? Yeah. Maybe if I had known everything ahead of time, I wouldn't have made any mistakes. <sighs> There's only one thing I can say for sure. Oh? What's that? Maybe you wouldn't have made any mistakes, but it sure would have been boring. I really wonder. There's Patty, I don't think that's a smart place to be standing. Don't fall overboard. Oh, I'll be careful. Yuri, the world sure is big. Yeah. Even though we're flying this high in the air, we still can't see everything. If the world's this big, I guess it makes sense that there'd be so many things we don't know. It might not make that much of a difference whether I get my memories back or not. Are you saying you'd be okay with not getting them back? I'm saying that I'm not the only one who feels restless and anxious not knowing the truth. How do you surprise me with her for being a full time? Even you and Estelle. You think so? Isn't that why everyone's here? Isn't that why Judy came back? And 
Is that why you're here too? <laughs> I don't want to be alone. You know, you're being pretty honest today. I'm always honest. Really? Well, maybe you are. Hello, old man. So does an old man past his prime fit into the picture at all? What are you whining about, old man? Why are you past your prime? Hmm. What Judith was talking about before. Hermes Blastia, was it? Blastia created with techniques that should have been lost in the war are still active. Do you know what this means? I guess someone who survived the war brought either Blastia or those techniques back with them. If that person was still using the Blastia even though he knew it was harmful to the Earth, someone like that would have to be quite the villain indeed. Oh man, don't tell me you... Hey now, yours truly was nothing but an innocent youth on the straight and narrow back then. Bullshit. I wouldn't do something like that even on my worst day. <laughs> I was just trying to trick you into giving yourself away. You're a slippery one. Son of a... When are you going to learn some respect for your elders? Yuri, respecting you? That's unlikely to happen. Ever. <laughs> Are you thinking about Judy? <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering what we should do about her. It's true that she broke the guild's laws. I always thought that a guild's strict adherence to its own laws was what kept it together. That there could be no exceptions, no lenience for those who would break the laws. But... She did what she did to save the world. Judy is destroying Blastia because she knows it's the right thing to do. Even if it makes people hate her. Yep. Judith didn't break our laws in order to do something bad. <sighs> I know this now. I'm gonna talk with her about it and give it some more thought. I'll figure this out eventually. <laughs> oh yeah? Maybe if I become a little more decisive, Nan will listen to me too. <sighs> Sorry, hiccups. Or yawns or that weird middle ground. Um, I don't see Rita anywhere, or Repaid. I'm assuming they're down in here. Hello, Rita. Is that the core from the Ceres Blastia that Judy destroyed? <laughs> yes, it's definitely cut with a different formula than the usual core. It looks like what she said was true. She said she wasn't too good at lying, after all. To discover that the new technique you created was bad for the world, after what must have been years of research. I can't imagine how the person who created the Hermes technique must have felt. Well, what if it had been you? If I found out that it hurt the Earth, I would have to do something about it. But I wouldn't destroy the Blastia like that. What the? Nothing. Uh, if only things weren't so complicated. I could have just blasted her into oblivion and been done with it. Hmm. Also, wait, what? How many state files are there here? I accidentally clicked up. I didn't even want to look at this. Why is there 99 saves? Let's check with everyone, okay. Morning, Yuri. Morning. It's a beautiful morning, but even as we stand here, the air is out of balance, and our world may already be dying. <laughs> That's right. Judy! Well, look who's feeling better. In the past, these slight fluctuations of the air have not negatively affected our world. There have always been beings who maintain the balance by sensing changing beings like Pharaoh and Ba'ul, the Entelechaea. So the Entelechaea were responsible for keeping the air balanced. 
For ages, the Intellikea have regulated the air. But the recent increase has been greater than they could control. Which is being caused by the Hermes Blastia. And which is also why you were going around taking down as many of them as you could. Yes, that was my mission. The path I walk with Ba'ul, to whom I owe my life. The path you walk? Now some would even hunt the Intellikea for Apatheia. This has made the mission of the Intellikea even more difficult. Why is everybody so crazy about these Apatheia anyway? I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The air an Intellikea absorbs becomes condensed within its body over time. When its life is at an end, that condensed air forms a crystal, an Apatheia. That's all I know. I imagine Pharaoh could shed more light on the subject, though. So Apatheia are crystals of concentrated air. If that's true and the energy could be extracted from the Apatheia, it would be a source of overwhelming power, I'm sure. Could we really do that? I... I don't know. <laughs> but if that's possible, there must be tons of guys who want those things. I bet somebody wants to use these things for the wrong reasons. Why didn't you just tell us all this from the beginning? Seriously, we could have avoided all this trouble if you just talked to us. Am I wrong? Even if you had known, there are things not even you could have prevented. What do you mean? I showed up at Heliord because Ba'ul had sensed where there was a disturbance, there was sure to be a Hermes Blastia. But what I found there was not a Blastia, it was a person. That had never happened before. So it wasn't like you were looking for Estelle in particular back at Heliord. Yet for some reason, Ba'ul perceived it. I had to find out why. For the sake of the path I've chosen, it was at that time that Pharaoh first appeared. He seemed to have some idea who Estelle was. <laughs> My mission was to destroy all the Hermes Blastia. However, Estelle was obviously not a Blastia. I, need I made a deal with Pharaoh, and he agreed to grant me some time. You mean... If it became apparent that her exi- I would kill her. You what?! Wait! Settle down. Obviously Judith <laughs> reached a different conclusion. All right, I get it. Bellius said you possess a heart of compassion. If you can communicate that to Pharaoh somehow, you may learn what you should do. Hey, there's no real reason for you to fight. I mean, we know the Hermes Blastia are what's causing the problem and everything. <laughs> if we just make sure the Apatheia don't fall into the wrong hands... I still want to meet Pharaoh. I want to hear what he has to tell me. But... Please try to understand. I have to know more about myself and take responsibility for who I am. All right. Sorry, Yuri. I don't think we can decide what to do about Judith right away. I promise not to leave again until things have been settled, as you said. <laughs> I need to accept that responsibility myself. Let's go and find Pharaoh. We'll finally be getting around to one of the first things we set out to do. <coughs> we can work out the rest once this is finished. There is a rocky crag in the center of the sands of Kogor. That is where Pharaoh lives. Ba'ul can take us there. Okay, let's go. This meeting's been a long time coming. Nine with a boat. I can communicate with Ba'ul, but there are still a few things you should know. Like what? Ba'ul can only land on the ground in wide, open spaces. So you won't be able to dismount on steep mountain ranges. Can't he land on water? Water's no good either. Really? He looks like he'd be a good swimmer. <laughs> yeah, he'd sink like a rock. Huh, who knew? But that's why we have a ship, right? Right. If you'd like to get down onto the... Ba'ul will set our ship down there for us. Okay, but what should we do when we... Use Ba'ul's horn to call him to you. Ba'ul's... That's all there is to it? Every Intellikea has a special region in its brain that can be used for communication with a special power Critians possess. Huh. So we can get a hold of him by using that. 
right. That was horn. Horn may report Bell's body. Press in LS. Control camera. North land toggle main menu. Cameras forward back plus. Okay. Check, uh, items. Here we are. A special flag. So you get one of those if you... So if you don't make it, you eventually get that on its own. Interesting. Pharaoh. Judith, you're familiar with Pharaoh, aren't you? Is he really as scary as he seems? Well, let's see. Sometimes he's logical, sometimes he's emotional. He can be really scary or really kind. All right, that didn't help very much. One thing's certain, his power is extraordinary, even among the Intellikea. Here's hoping we don't wind up looking like poor old Mount Temza the moment we meet him. <laughs> if he can do that to a mountain, there wouldn't be anything left if he turned on us. I wish you wouldn't joke about scary things like that. Why should we get scared before we even get there? Especially if he's that strong. Wish I could take it as lightly as you and Yuri. Okay, also I'm going to admit I kind of just want to zoom around here and uh, fill in the map. I will be perfectly honest, I'm trying to resist the temptation to literally just fly around the entire map at this point. <laughs> With the whole, I'm trying to resist temptation to just fly and fill up the entire map. So this is where Pharaoh is? Should be. I wasn't able to see him when we came to the desert, but I think this is where we can meet him. I hope nothing bad will happen. I can't make any guarantees. I don't think we'll have a say in the matter. That just means we need to do our best so nothing bad happens. Carol, are you okay? <laughs> no, I'm not okay. I should go. Pharaoh sure did pick a bleak place to live in, don't you think? They say this area used to be covered in lush greenery. Why did it turn into this rocky desert? Hmm, I don't know that much. Estelle, are you really going to meet him? Even though you could be killed? Yes, I've already made peace with this decision. Rita, you've been acting a little funny ever since hearing Judy's story on the ship. Do you have a problem with meeting... I just think it'll be hard on her to hear what he has to say. But it's too late to turn back now. We've come this far after all. Judith's communication. I never imagined you'd be able to speak with the Intelikea. Well, I use a Critian technique to do it. Wait, do I detect a little jealousy? Mm, maybe. Right, Repeat? <coughs> Yuri, you want to talk to Repeat? I think the two of you understand each other well enough already. I got him pretty well figured out, but I don't know if he understands me. <coughs> I think he feels the same way. <laughs> oh god, it's like... That's, that's funny to me. Okay, 
considering the lack of save point, I'm going to assume this is not a boss fight. Well, he doesn't seem to be here. Maybe he's off somewhere taking a nap. Pharaoh, you are here, aren't you? Insipid poison. You appear to... So you are here. Is that how you greet all your guests, Pharaoh? By calling them names? For what reason have you come to me? Surely you are aware that I could end your existence with a mere thought. <laughs> you talk pretty big, don't you? Well, if you really want to fight, I'd hate to disappoint you. Yuri, no! Everyone! Estelle! Pharaoh, please... Does death hold no fear for you, little one? For you gaze now into the mouth of death itself. I am afraid, but I'm even more afraid of dying. Bellius told me I needed to meet you to learn about my destiny. I have to know just what that destiny is. I understand that I am a threat to the end. What is this power I have? Just who is the child of the full moon? If it is true that my ex- then it's okay. But I at least deserve to know why it is I have to die. Please tell me. I beg- There was a time when this was a violent land, sheltered by the blessing of an air crene. So there was an air crene here. But what happened? Why did it change? What you see are the results of too much air and its aftermath. As to why the air ran rampant, the answer lies with the poison brought by the child of the full moon. Huh? The power of the child of the full moon stimulates the air crane more than any Blastia. Huh? Blastia convert air into energy by way of a formula. So if Estelle can use her healing arts without the aid of any Blastia, she must possess a formula in her very being that lets her convert air into energy. Judith was searching for Blastia that used a particular kind of formula. So, this special formula, which causes the air crene to become more active and pump out more air than they should. I had hoped my hypothesis would have been wrong. Then, I... It is as she has said. With each use of her power, the child of the full moon uses far more air than the Blastia. In so doing, the imbalance of air in this world is furthered. For the planet, such an existence can only be called a poison. So you just wipe it out then? Little quick to judge, aren't you, Pharaoh? This problem concerns the entire planet, and she is its cause. To do nothing would be unparalleled folly. If the problem's with Estelle, then it's for us to solve. That's right. We can't let... The gravity of this situation is beyond your grasp. You don't honestly think that everything's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows if Estelle dies, do you? It would at least eliminate one problem. Pharaoh, at Heliord I stopped myself. And again at Dawngrest I stopped you. What I thought was a Blastia turned out to be a human. Before I re- I never thought this child could be as great a danger as you had said. And due to your confusion, as a result, my sister Belius is now lost to me. Enough. This power will bring only ruin. Hmm, not sure I understand all this, but if her power's the problem, why can't she just not use it? There can be no guarantee she will not try to use the power. That's true. She does have trouble turning a blind eye to things happening around her. Someday she will surely use her power to help someone. However, as long as she she is not like a Blastia, I know that you can feel the difference. Compassion alone will not save this world. Listen, Pharaoh, I get that you've thought all this through with everybody's best interest in mind, but why doesn't that world have a pl It is sometimes necessary to remove a part to save the whole. I don't buy that for a second. What makes you so high and mighty that you're the one to decide who gets cut and who doesn't? We have endured the anxiety of existence for far greater a span than you can conceive. Such words mean nothing from those who call this world home for but a fleeting moment. 
Pharaoh, please listen. The important thing is finding a way to stop the excessive air, correct? We still have time left to search for such a thing. Judith. And if I will kill her, you should have no complaint with this. Hey, Judith. Are I'm sure brave Vesperia will come up with something before that happens, right? What? I well, score one for Judith. So that settles it. If we humans are to blame for Estelle's problem and bringing on the apocalypse, then it's up to us. If we give it all we've got and still blow it, then you can slow roast us on a grill for all I care. You have changed. Have I? That is nice to hear. Very well. Be ever mindful, though, that time is fleeting. I was realizing Wait, if the Fair was the are caught, there must have been times when this happened in the past. I mean, the Blastia were up. There exist those who have inherited the sins of the past. If any can speak of what occurred in the days of old, it is they. I'm looking, I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking at Pharaoh in this, and I'm just seeing a giant rooster. He's gone! Bye bye Um, I... Thanks for everything, Yuri. Judith, you too. No problem. But hey... What? It's okay if I... What the hell was that? I'm sorry. I don't want to hear that again. I'm sorry. Man, I was really worried there for a while. We were pretty lucky that bruiser was in a mood for conversation. Poor Raven's heart can't handle that sort of stuff anymore. You're pretty gutless for an old man. Jeez, Patty, you've really got nerves of steel. <laughs> if he really wanted to kill Estelle, he'd have attacked us immediately. And that's what I can't figure out. I imagine Pharaoh was conflicted as well. He hid himself from us in the desert to see just what we were made of. Huh. Maybe he wasn't as bad as we thought after all. You might be right. <laughs> I get the feeling he'd do whatever's necessary when push comes to shove. That sounds like you. Maybe. <laughs> but what are we gonna do, Yuri? You heard what he said. We're going to fix the problems the air's causing, and that's all. That's easier said than done. We're pretty much at square one, you know. Mm-hmm. And no one wants to be at square one. There's no doubt that the formulas are related somehow to the air getting used up. We need to find out about the ancient Blastia, and if they went berserk or not. If we had that kind of information, it might give us a clue. Ask those who have inherited the sins of the past about the days of old. Or at least that's what Pharaoh said. The Critia were the ones to invent the Blastia. In other words, we need to ask a Critian who is still familiar with the old stories. Yeah, the Critia are often credited as the inventors of the Blastia. There isn't much left of the Critian city of Timza, though. It'd be a lot easier if there were more cities. The hidden city of Miorzo. It is far older than Timza, and the birthplace of the Critia. The first Blastia also originated there. Really? Well, what do you know? You wouldn't happen to know where this Miorzo might be, would you, darling? Hmm. <laughs> I've heard that name somewhere. There was a Critian in Ospio. I'm sure they mentioned something about it. Do you think that person might still be there? Well, there's no harm in checking it out. Judith, are you coming with us? I should. We still have the issue of the guild to straighten out. So, to Ospio then. Ospio is what we should be doing. I am going to. Pharaoh's words. What? All that stuff about the balance of the world is pretty hard to take in. Yeah. I hadn't even been outside the capital until just a while ago myself. And now we're here talking about the fate of the world. You never know what life will bring you. But isn't that what makes it interesting? I don't think we can afford to be that relaxed anymore. Estelle doesn't have much time left. What's the harm? It's not as if acting all serious is going to solve anything. Besides, Estelle will notice if we look all worried. Well, maybe so, but... We won't forget what Pharaoh said. Relax. I know, it's just... Estelle's got it the worst. If we get too down about this, we won't be much help to her. 
Okay. Um, this is just kind of giving me an excuse to zoom around and fill up the map. <laughs> assume that is something for like end game or something. <laughs> oh, this loops. So we can go off the bottom. Or down the top. Ah, okay. So the world map just loops, okay. At the very least, I want to get all the edges here. Roughly. I gave up to my temptation. I want to fill up the map. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Primarily because, well, I'm pretty sure we're just going to be going into another cutscene and, well... Actually, this lets me fill up both sides of the thing just by viewing like these bits. Okay, uh, I'm gonna find all of these and then I think I will go run and then no, no, we'll run a tow to Ospio, essentially, and at least get into the overworld where we can save. Tree Town. Go. Overrate the save. Alright, we're gonna go... I think we're gonna go... Uh, no. We'll save right here. Make it a point of... I know where I'm going. And then that is where we're gonna call the stream. We have like one minute left. So, uh, so to those of you who are here, uh, thank you for coming, thank you for watching. Uh, if you're interested in any of the VODs, no longer on Twitch, they're on my YouTube, which is down linked down below in the About Me, or I'm posting it in the chat right now. Um, Wednesday will be Hat in Time for the monthly, like, Hat in Time stream. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so thank you guys for coming, thank you for watching, thank you for following, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>